one of the main things I've tried to do with this is to reduce the depth per pass as much as possible. It is down to five thousandths of an inch because I don't want to try to take too big of a bite out of it. And I feel like when this thing starts, just depending on how well I've got it zeroed, when I'm machining metals, most of my experience is aluminum so far, it really starts to mess this thing up if it's trying to jam too much down uh, on each incremental step down into the uh, greater depth of the material. So if I can reduce that and just machine real slow and be patient about it, I think I can do this. So this is mild steel. This is the stuff that you can buy at the hardware store in their little steel section. And I'm just doing a little three quarter inch channel. Shapoko milling steel. First attempt ever. Five thousandths depth per pass. And I'm on the lowest speed setting of the router. Let's see what she does. That worked. It's just barely warm to the touch. You can see this was too loose. Uh, that was part of my problem. I'm not really looking for surface finish. I'm just seeing if it could do it, you know? And I think the answer is yes. Look at that. So this was the first one where it was kind of loose. I secured it down better this time. That's not a bad finish. I'm gonna call that a success. Just to be clear, these are the settings. Depth per pass, five thousandths of an inch. Step over, 0.056. Feed rate, 10. Plunge rate, 11.5. And I put the RPM on the lowest setting manually on the router. And it seems to be working. This is David Hill with Solve Fix Build. I hope you like this video. If you like what I'm doing, hit subscribe below. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Bye.